hopefully you know how to solve simple, simple um, questions regarding angles of elevation and depression. With those simple questions, all you need to know is how to identify those angles, and then you can use any of the trig ratios to solve them. Uh, with this video, I'm just going to go through one question that actually uses two different angles of depression, which means you have two different constructions to look at. Um, so the trick is to just be able to identify the two separate diagrams you're looking at. So I'm just going to give you time to pause the video and read the question, understand it, uh, take some time to break down and see what is actually requested, and then um, resume the video to see my process. So hopefully you can see that the thing required is the distance from Allen to Bailey, which is this green distance. Now, it's not part of a right angle triangle, it's part of a non-right angle triangle, which means you might think, oh, I should use the sine rule, cosine rule, but we want to avoid that at the moment. So if you can do things with right angles, that would be uh, better. So um, Let's look at the constructions that we have. So once we understand them best, we could actually find this distance. Um, I could just tell you how we could find it. So, um, and then I'll show you how you could go through the process. So basically what we want to do is we want to find this full distance from Allen to the, let's call this point Pierre. And then um, we want to find this distance from Bailey to Pierre. And then when we subtract them from each other, we'll be able to find the distance from, um, sorry, I keep on saying Alan, from Elaine to Bailey. So um, this is what we want to do is to find these two lengths and then subtract them from each other. Um, and we can find these two lengths using the construction that we have. Now, if you haven't got to this point, you're not sure how to um, create this link between the two lengths, for between the three lengths, then it's fine. So just take apart the construction that you have. The first construction is that we have an angle of depression of 40 degrees to see a lane. Um, so we are looking at um, this horizontal and then going vertically down. And then this is the line of sight. And then we have our angle of 40. So what we have is I'm just going to take the construction out because it's easier to view then. So this is our 40, this is Pierre, this is Alan, this is 90 degrees. And we have our other things. We have that the height is 300. And um, it would be ideal if we know the distance from Alan to Pierre. So the distance that we find here is the same distance as we find at the bottom. So it's exactly the same. Um, so this distance will be the same distance here. Um, so this is our first um, triangle. We can also look at the other triangle that's formed by the other angle of depression. So if you notice that um, Pierre has to look down a further 32 degree to say to see Bailey. So a further 70, uh, further 32 degrees means this will give us a total of 72 degrees. So don't be tricked by just the 32, it's a further um, 32 down, so on top of the 40 degrees, which means that the triangle we have is actually, this is the horizontal, going until Bailey, and then this is the vertical down, and then this is our triangle closing up. So this is our angle 72. So if I just take this apart, this is my 72, this is Pierre, this is uh, Bailey, and um, again the height is the same, it's 300. This is my right angle. So um, now that we have the constructions, you can see two right angle triangles, and you can see that if I can find, well, this distance is gonna be the same as this distance. So don't worry about me calculating, calculating the distance upwards, it's exactly the same downwards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate the distance um, using the, so we're gonna calculate this distance, so using the blue triangle, and then we're gonna also calculate this distance using the purple triangle. 
Then subtract them from each other, we get the green length, which is A to B. Hopefully it's clear by now. Um, if not, just go back to a few minutes behind in the video to see how um, this can be done. Also, you can try and identify if you have a line and you're taking away a part of the line, then this is what you're left with. So um, we want the full length and then part of the length and then subtract them from each other. So uh, what we need to find are these lengths at the top. And what I can do is use the trig ratio. So if I label all my triangles, this is going to be the opposite, adjacent, opposite, and adjacent. And hence, I can use a tan. So you should know how to do this. So this is tan, 40, opposite over adjacent. And this is tan 72, uh, the opposite over adjacent. And then you could do the calculation. So the adjacent here and the adjacent here. I've done the calculations already. So the adjacent uh, for the first one is 357.526. Just leaving it to as many decimal places because uh, you're not done. And then the second one is 97.476. And then what we need is a subtraction between them. So I'm going to subtract and that should give me um, the distance between Elaine and Bailey. So I've already done the subtraction, so that's 260. Um, that's the three significant figures. So 260 meters. So the distance here is 260 meters. Um, if you're good with the question, you can stop watching from here. What I'm going to continue in the next few minutes is just to explain the alternative triangles you could use, which is something I explained in a previous video regarding angles of elevation and depression. Um, so alternate angles you could use. Same exact calculations, it's just looking at the triangles differently. So you can continue watching or you can stop here. So the alternate angles you can use... Um, Let's stick with the same color scheme. If this was my, these are my parallel lines and I said that you can create your um, alternate angles. So the Z I create here is telling me that this 40 degrees is the same as the 40 degrees here. So actually I can take a different um, triangle. Instead of this triangle, I can take this triangle instead. So I can take um, the one here and I could look at this being the 40 degrees, this being the 300. So this is the distance from Alan to um, Pierre. From When I say Alan to Pierre, sorry, Elaine to Pierre, I don't mean um, this line of sight. I mean just the, vert the horizontal distance. Um, and then we could do the same thing with um, Bailey. So... Um, this was my Z, which means if this is 72, then this has to be my 72 as well, which means my other triangle is this. And I can erase the additional triangles here. So... So now you have, instead of looking at the triangles in a flip direction, you can look at them in the proper direction. So you have a 40 here, 90, and this is 300, and then you have the tinier one of um, 72, so this will be your 72. And 300 and the degrees. So what you're going to do is find the whole thing and then find the parts and then subtract them from each other and that should give you um, and that should give you this distance. So once I have the pink distance I'm going to take away the blue distance and that is that should give me the green distance. Sometimes students prefer this uh, alternate construction but in order to be able to do that you should know how to find the alternate 
uh, positions of the angles of elevation depression. Um, otherwise, if you're happy with this flipped um, diagram, then you can go for it. The point is to be able to take these construction out of your diagram and then to know to know what angles you need to find. Once you're okay with this type of example, all the other examples that involve two angles of depression or elevation follow the same procedure. They usually require you to find two links and then subtract them from each other. So um, try to immediately practice a question from here on so that you can solidify your understanding regarding this type of question.